Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. Okay guys, so as you know, we are not doing hot messy topics today. I'm in a totally different place and I said that in my last video, I just had to check the audio on it because it sounds like there's a little bit of an echo in here. I'm at my uncle's house in Palm Beach County, but also there is a grandfather clock who might interrupt us from time to time, which is actually kind of special because it was for my grandparents and yesterday was the passing, the anniversary of the passing of my grandmother. Um, and then today is my grandfather's birthday. Not Pops, though, just a different family. Anyways, we're not back to talk about that. We are back to talk about Erica Girardi, who is opening up. And I think she was pretty vulnerable in this. But I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. So before we jump in, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And let's get right into it. All right, guys. So I wanted to talk about this really quick because I thought it was an interesting interview. So Reality Blurb came out with it saying Erica Jane is sharing the real reason she hasn't finalized her divorce from Tom Girardi if she's open for love and if she'd show that relationship on TV. Plus Kyle's merited marital drama and Denise's feud. I thought it was good because I've been kind of waiting to hear this. So Erica Jane shared why she hasn't finalized her divorce from Tom Girardi. I thought she couldn't. In the season 13 trailer, Erica alleged that a naked bundle of Denise on OnlyFans was only $7. In response, Denise called her evil. Um, Erica, babe, this is why I find you to be just a little bit annoying. That $7 bundle is making her a lot more money than you're making on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. That's one. Gonna leave that there. And then two, your show tickets were going for $1. $1. Just one. Like if I went to every gas station, no, scratch that. If I went to two gas stations in Las Vegas and I picked up coins off the ground, put them together, and I counted them out, I could go to your show. There's a difference. But wait, we're not bashing anybody. We're not bashing anybody. So continuing on, speaking with Entertainment Tonight, Erica shared that her heart will always be open when it comes to love after her breakup with Tom. Hmm. We'll see. You have to grieve a marriage and gr you grieve a lot of things. I had a complete change of life, not just marriage, you know, a sickness of a spouse and then losing your home and your money and all at one time. So grieving that sort of stuff and working through the legal problems is a lot. My heart will always be open. I don't think I'll choose to share my private life on camera. I think that I need one thing that's mine. I just need one thing that's mine. Now, when pressed to say whether she'd really never showcase her romantic life on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills again, she admitted timing is everything. Let me recover. I've got a lot of bills to pay. I've got a lot of things to work out when and if the time is right. I think that's a fair assessment because also you never know, like if you look at Jennifer Pedronti's man, Ryan, it kind of looks like he loves the camera. And if I were any, if I, if I was one of these housewives, I would be so weary about who I let into my situation because I would not want somebody who loves the camera. I feel like that's a red flag. Like you're not the housewife. I'm the housewife. Now, she also shared that she's currently dating. She said, my heart is not closed. I'm okay. I'm social and I should be. Erica then revealed why she hasn't finalized her divorce from Tom. She said, in the order of all of the problems I'm facing, it's probably the absolute last thing. I just don't think about it. The day I filed for divorce and we were legally separated, that was it for me. We're in very different places. I have a lot to clean up and pick up and move on. She also said, we all have to do it our own way. Nobody's going to look out for you but yourself. Even after a two decade plus marriage, that's what it came down to to looking out for yourself. And to be fair, like th there is nobody else looking. It's her and her attorneys. I'll give her that. It's her and her attorneys against the world. Like nobody's looking out for Erica Girardi. I get that. That makes sense. She has to look out for herself. And she's had a lot of legal victories. Like when they found her to not be like, what was the, there was the one um, court situation where they were like, no, we don't believe that you knew anything. That was a huge victory for her. You've been exonerated of this. It's not over, but it's also going in her 
favor a little bit. So regarding Kyle Richards' marriage difficulties, Erica said, I am Kyle's friend and I'm going to support her through the separation and whatever they choose to do. I'm a friend. I'm a supporter. Whatever she wants to share with me, that's her right to do so. So I'm not going to, you know, like pry into her marriage, right? And I think that's good. She said, I don't like when other people pry. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. So why would I do that? She said, let them work it out. Everyone has an opinion and we're there to get that opinion. And we're there to get her opinion. My opinion is I'm Kyle's friend. They are married and she will let me know what's happening when she's ready to do so. It's my job as a friend to support her in whatever she chooses to do. That's a good friend. Erica then addressed the introduction of newbie castmate Anne-Marie Wiley, and she said she is not to be toyed with. I like her. She's very direct. She's sweet, but she's firm. She was very vocal, and it took her half a second to find her footing on the show. She then teased her upcoming fight with Denise Richards, which stunned Erica, who was so confused as to what was happening. She said, Denise was there looking for a fight, so I gave it to her. That's not something I want to do. Here's the thing. If you're going to push, you need to be ready to get pushed back on. And so that's all I did. But in an interview with Us Weekly, Erica claimed that she called Teddy Mellencamp, who seemed to lead the charge against Denise and Brandy Glanville's allegation that she and Denise had sex to better understand why Denise was still upset with her. I said, Teddy, what is this about? Because Denise's anger should not be directed towards me. Denise's anger should be directed at Brandy, Lisa, Teddy, not Erica. I just happen to be the only one there. Mm, that's fair. Now, she claimed that Denise was saying all of these things and Erica apologized at the time because she couldn't remember what had happened in the past. But then when it came time to Denise wanted to talk about this at Taco Tuesday, and this was at Crystal Kung Minkoff's. And she said, that's when you see me say I had to be like, look, I did not want any part of this, but she wanted that. So I gave it to her at the end. What did you give to her, Erica? Because now we need to know. We need to know what you gave to her. But since we're speaking of Teddy Mellencamp, can I just say one thing really quick? This is one thing that nobody asked for. Let me just, I'm going to pull this up really quick. Just really quick for you guys. And I'm sorry, Teddy. And I'm sure I'm going to have to see her at BravoCon. And I'm going to have to tell her how much I don't like her on the show. And that's fine. I mean, I probably won't have to tell her anything. I think that she's a great mom. Maybe an okay accountability coach. I don't know your life. I just think that you're a lousy housewife. Do you want to see Teddy Mellencamp on The Real Housewives of Orange County? I don't. Bye, wig. Hello, drama. Thank you. You took the words right out of my mouth. So ask me a question, Tamara Judge said. How can we get Teddy on The Real Housewives of Orange County? Maybe a friend of? Even just a guest appearance? She said, that would be my dream at Bravo TV full time. Make it happen. No. No. You want me to tell you why? Let's read the comments. Teddy sent this in herself. We don't even want Tamara. Why is she inviting her sidekicks? I'd stop watching. I don't even want to see her on a milk carton. We're not saying no because we want her back as a villain or something. We're saying no because we don't want her back. She's boring. She just fills up space. She adds nothing. Blah. Hell to the nah, to the nah, nah, nah. I'd rather braid water than have to deal with Teddy and Tamara. Not braid water. How many ways can we say we do not want John Mellencamp's son-in-law's wife on any Housewives franchise? She doesn't even go here. Um, that's not coming from me. Those are comments that you guys get to see. Anyways, I want to hear what you guys think, especially about the Erica interview. But also, do you want Teddy Mellencamp joining the Real Housewives of Orange County? Maybe that should be my next poll. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for bearing with me as I switch up places. And I will see you soon. Love you.